three chances, man, today. Not one, not two, three chances, three. Atlanta Braves, you got three chances uh, to win the NL East today. Three. Realistically, there are three shots today. Subscribe to the channel, everybody. Click the notification bell so you know when all the content uploads. Share it to all your media outlets. And you know you already know how you can support the channel in other ways. And uh, just tell everybody about it also. Subscribe to the channel. I want to talk about Atlanta Falcons soon. I know the Falcons are playing the Eagle Maniac. I'd like to be able to talk about that in the next day or so. Hopefully tomorrow. Yeah. Or Thursday. But right now, my whole attention right now is on the Atlanta Braves. Atlanta Braves, just a boring performance last night. Lose to the Marlins 4-zip. Nationals Mets rained out. Game and a half up still on the Mets. You know, you got three chances, Braves, today to clinch the NL East. Now, the way you could do it, obviously, is that, is that all you got to do is beat the Marlins one time. Tell me you can't beat the Marlins once. The team you've been blowing out, dominating all year long. Okay, you lose the first game because you just got outpitched. You just didn't look like you had any, any energy whatsoever. You, look, you just look like you left everything in Atlanta. Okay, so, but today at 410, the Nationals play at the Mets in game one of their doubleheader. Nationals just end it. I don't care. Look, some people can say they don't like backing in. Look, if the Braves get in because the Nationals beat the Mets once, I'll take it because it's about getting in. The Braves did what they had to do coming back from a 10-and-a-half game deficit, beating the Mets six out of the last seven times we played down the stretch and swept the series over the weekend. So we did what we had to do. It's kind of like Kyle Shanahan. You know, you do what you got to do to get to the your point of winning a ring. You finish it off any way possible. It's how it is here. I, personally speaking, would rather have the Nationals be beating the Mets into the submission this afternoon so that way by the time I get home uh, around mid of the, of the, of the game, uh, whether the Braves are winning or not, that the division is pretty much over. Because it's about the division now. I mean, I can talk about it now. It's not it's not a, a wish or a hope. It's fact. It's right here for the taking. It's right here. The whole year that we've had trying to catch the Mets, we finally did it and passed them by a couple games. Now the Braves got to finish it off. We got Jake Odorizzi tonight. No, I'm not too confident with him because he's not that good a pitcher, but he does pitch well against bad teams. You know, some of his better starts this year have been against bad teams. So, you know, I I, I want to see the Braves come out in the first inning and just score runs, man. They had first and second nobody out yesterday in the first and couldn't couldn't get a run in. They had runners all a lot leading off innings or with one out in scoring position yesterday and could not get them in. So, but the Braves got to do it. If we are a half game up going into Wednesday, I'm going to be irritated. Because it should not come down to that. We already fought hard to get to where we needed to, where we needed to be. And we got to take care of business. But Washington Nationals, I'm a huge Nationals fan today. I am a huge Nationals fan today. I don't know what moniker y'all use, but go Nats. I want y'all to spoil the Mets' uh, comeback hopes. Can y'all please take care of them in Game One? That would be great. That would that would take a lot of the stress off of me. You know, because I would rather come back. Sit down, where whatever time I get back in for the Braves game, whether we're winning or losing, you know, pop open a few beers and talk about a division title. I don't want to have to talk about, oh, okay, the Nationals lost the first game. The Mets right now are are just, you know, in the second inning of game two, and we're just getting – no, I don't want to go through all that. I've already been through enough stress. But, you know, it wouldn't surprise me if that happens because that's the only – that's how fitting that this should end, right? But – the Braves, you know, when people on the radio talking, oh, the Braves are going to do it. Hey, we're going to – no. It ain't over until it's over, man. I'm not one of those. I, because if you do, then you get yourself up for even more of a letdown. I mean, it would already be a letdown if we don't manage to pull this off. And I know a lot of you are like, damn, Braves, David, relax, let it relax. But the fact is we have not clinched it. You don't want the Braves – I don't want the Braves to do what they did against the Mets and then have a collapse in the final couple games said the national the Mets have to sweep the Nationals three times you're gonna play the Nationals are gonna play the Mets three times in 48 hours Nationals get one of those get one of those games make it easy on my heart all right but no matter even if the Nationals do win game one which I'll be ecstatic over obviously Braves, you got to come on and get a win you know you can't really you know you can't really depend on another team to do your job 
because you've already put yourself in this situation, but right now I'll, I'll take it. But just come out and swing the bats tomorrow or later today. Don't look like you didn't even belong. They looked tired and slow. It was just terrible. It was, yeah. So, like I said, three chances today, Braves, to be NL East champions for the fifth straight year. Get it done. I don't care how you get it done. Balk, walk, error, pass balls, wild pitches, hit batters, home runs, doubles, singles, triples. Uh, the Nationals beat the Mets. That would be the most ideal because the Nationals play the Mets game one at 410. So by the time your game starts, it's gonna, it should be, because uh, y'all start at what, 640? It should be around the 6th, 7th inning. And hopefully the Nationals are doing us some solids. Because I don't know what mindset the Mets are going to be in. They could be pressing big time and just look like the Braves did yesterday. Or they could be playing loosey-goosey and have nothing to lose and say, hey, you know, all we can do is handle our business. And, you know, if we handle our business, if the, if the Marlins can upset the Braves, then we'll be in it. You know, that, 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 those are two mindsets that the, that the Mets could be having right now. Because they got nothing to lose. Because the Mets are the ones that are behind the eight ball. They know that even if they win their games, they got to rely on the Marlins. The Braves know all they got to do is win one. Win one against a Miami Marlins team. Or have the Mets lose one game out of three to the Nationals. Now, we shall see how it comes about. I'm hoping that it does happen that way. Uh, got to end it today, though. Cannot be Wednesday, a half game up and uh, sweating bullets. Cannot do it. Because we don't even know who our starter is going to be Wednesday uh, if it comes to that. Freed's, we don't know how, what his status is. He was sick. Uh, but if he's anywhere near ready to go, he'll go Wednesday. But I don't want it to come down to that. It shouldn't come down to that, Braves. Let's take care of this tonight. Get it over with tonight. So I can start talking Falcons. Subscribe to the channel. Click the notification bell. Like button. Share it to all your outlets. Support the channel. Tell everybody about it. Go Braves. And go Nationals. And I'll see you in the next one. Woo!